morning, everybody. What's happening? What's going on? Uh, today is another beautiful day in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. That was a fun little edit, and uh, now we're off to practice. A little pole ball. Okay, so for the pole vault side of this video, I actually want to break it down. I want to talk about what I'm seeing when I'm actually editing, because I use my footage that I record during practice to then uh, kind of be able to coach myself when I get home. And me and breaking it down, I'm obviously, I'm not, I'm a, I've been pole vaulting for a while, but I'm not a pole vault coach. These are just the things that help me, so as far as like best practices, I know I titled the video that. but. I just wanted to go through what I think my best practices are and what's going to help me and it might it might translate to something that you're doing. Okay, so I go through a couple of one arm swings and then I set the bar at kind of a lower height and I kind of just uh, get used to taking off. Keep in mind this is also my first jump session back from the Achilles injury so it was more so just working on takeoff and getting off the ground and making sure that I didn't lose a lot of stuff. So on this jump, I at least kind of get my hips up before I get over the top of the bar, which is decent. And then on this jump, I don't get my hips up. So right here, my head is above my bottom shoulder. I don't know if that means anything. My head's above my bottom shoulder and I'm kind of pushing with both arms and not pulling, if that makes sense. So I'd like to be pulling from my top hand and I wish my hips would stay tighter to my top hand and almost be at the top of the pole here rather than my feet kicking off this way. Bar goes up, new pole. Um, this one, it felt like, a, like watching it back, it doesn't feel like a crazy soft pole, but when I'm actually planting this pole, it feels like a pool noodle. And it really looks like a pool noodle. A little bit more so than the last pole. We went up in height. And right here, I'm literally, I'm looking at my top hand, which is good, but I think that once I get to my top hand, some of my cues for when I'm jumping are high hand, so I'm like this when I take off, right? So I have a high left hand, and then as I row, I shift my gaze to my right hand, and I think as I continue to row, I need to shift my gaze backwards, because I'm still rowing and looking at my top hand the whole time, and I think that if I were to actually get my head back on a lot of these jumps, it's gonna cause my hips to go up. Cause I can do bubkas on a, like a pull up bar, no problem. It's not like the core strength or like my shoulders aren't strong enough to be able to do it. It's literally just getting my head to rotate in such a way that I could actually do it. Or not head, but shoulders and everything. Anyways, I bail on that jump, pull's too soft. I go up another two poles or something like that. Take off the regular shirt and throw on a tank top. Shouts out to One Track Mind for the Canadian jersey. But even on this jump, I don't get my hips up. And the bar's at a irrelevant height for you guys. Um, it's higher than I jumped all last season, so that's a plus. But even here, I'm still looking at the bar. You can kind of see my head position is really neutral or like flat. And I wish it was a little bit further back. And I wish I didn't end up pushing off of this arm until my hips were basically above the top of the pole. Maybe that's something I can think about too. Uh, take off here, could keep my left leg a little bit longer, and my right leg's knee drive isn't bad. So right here you can kind of see, I'm looking at my left hand, right hand's up. 
I then shift my gaze to my right hand, which is good. Like, this position I actually really like. I wish that, like, I'm happy I'm learning this. But then, once I get to my right hand, my eyes kind of stay there and everything kind of just bleh, mushes out. And I just go straight into the bar instead of getting my hips up and over the top of it. So that's kind of frustrating and something I think I need to work on too. So I think this is one of my better jumps as far as actual like proper takeoff and everything. I'm not saying proper technique once I get in the air, but I actually had a decent takeoff, left hands up. I'm still looking at my right hand and right here is where I think maybe even, I wish I could Right here is where I wish that I would start to drop my head backwards and my hips would start to rise or at least I would pull my hips to the pole here so that as the pole unbends I actually go vertical instead of into the pit and so as the pole starts to unbend I go into the pit because I'm looking at the freaking bar and blah. The pole does follow me through which means I did move the pole appropriately but I definitely could have uh, could have been a little bit better. And that's pretty much how I break down my film when I'm watching it at home. So if there's any tips in there that you guys kind of picked out or that you thought were helpful, um, put them in the comments below so that even if somebody doesn't watch the entire video, they'll at least learn something from just scrolling through the comments and then maybe they'll go watch the video. Um, other than that, I hope you did learn something from this and always remember to be nice to people, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt others, slow down. Don't dance so fast. And I do post daily videos, so if you're new to the channel, um, consider tuning in tomorrow. Sometime before 9 a.m. is when I post them every single day. And I mean every single day. I haven't missed one in like at least six days. So we're doing great. All right, I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.